Hey, what's up? My name is Ran. I'm here to tell you a little bit about NAR Gear. I'm actually the owner lead designer. Um, I used to be a sponsored snowboarder in Valdez, Alaska back in the 90s, doing some competitions, and then uh, was a surfer on North Shore Oahu, fly wingsuits, just an all around outdoor guy, you know, athlete type. Landed a crazy job with the Fed, jumping out of airplanes in the forest fires. Uh, started tweaking my gear, so I started making my own parachute equipment, started making my own firefighter backpacks, and basically, Nargear was born. The one that you guys might be interested in checking out is this one. It's called the Toolbox. I've been working on it for the last couple years with some helicopter ski guides and Jackson Hole ski patrollers. Um, I got this example over here loaded up with all your rescue equipment. All right, so here's a closer look at the toolbox in a black color. We were just looking at the red one. Okay, so at first glance, boom. You need to get to your safety equipment. This is pretty standard in most mountain backpacks, but this is what sets us apart. You know, I come from the firefighter uh, EMT background, and this is kind of how firefighters roll with med kits. Almost all med kits flip open. Obviously, you get to a rescue situation, you want to keep digging through your bag, right? So anyways, every EMT, every wilderness EMT, paramedic, he has usually his own specially built med kit. So this lashing system allows for any medical kind of personnel to just lash his personal kit. Of course, we got the vinyl case shovel pockets again and tool compartment with good organization. Um, you can put ice axes inside and or exterior as the other Nargear backpacks that we have. So that's the cool feature about the toolbox I'd like to share but it's got uh, a lot of the same features that a lot of people want in backpacks uh, for all mountain stuff, but I just improved them a little. Like I made a double entry. It's got fleece lined, of course, uh, to hold the, the biggest goggles possible, which are uh, how I roll, because I have a large forehead, you know what I'm saying? Mongolian style. All right, so we got these two huge uh, exterior pockets as well, and that was well thought out. The reason being, uh, you don't necessarily want to be hitting your bare skin on zippers when it's really cold out. So I made this opening super huge for easy access, cold entry, and or with gloves. And these are actually two separate pockets that get pretty large and in charge. Also for the ski popo out there and helicopter ski guides, we've got an awesome wand pocket that doubles for uh, small water bottles and even those Gatorade bottles. Bam. But now you can get your wands going on, clip it here. The other super cool thing about this bag that uh, I feel like you need to know about is this D-ring assembly. It allows you to take snowboards vertical, horizontal, skis can go diagonal this way or diagonal this way and then the tops of the skis can actually use this lashing system which is very close to the frame and can suck your tips in, yeah? Uh, I don't know any other backpack that has that system. I, I just kind of designed that up recently and uh, it's working pretty good. And, yeah, it's a toolbox. Ski Gear TV 2013 Buyer's Guide, Nargear. Go to nargear.com. Keep watching Ski Gear TV. Thank <music> you.